Uh, thank you, Doug. Yes. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Doug and Jack Fax, uh, for allowing us to show the total state brand of web beds. Um, also, as Doug mentioned, thank you for taking the time out of your day. I know you guys are busy. Um, and I really, we really, really appreciate uh, you taking the time out of your day to learn more about our product and how we're able to help you find the best hotels and transfer options for you, uh, for you and your clients. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, in today's webinar, before we get started, like in today's webinar, we will go over a few things. Uh, one is who Total Stay is, where we are in the travel landscape, as well as show the features and benefits of booking with us and our website. For those who are not familiar with Total Stay, uh, as Doug mentioned, we are an industry-only hotel and transfer booking website. Uh, we are not public-facing, meaning that the only, only accredited travel advisors can have access to our site and our inventory. We have over 250,000 hotels worldwide, ranging from bed and breakfast to hostels, to chain and independent properties, whether they are budget or luxury hotels. We even have properties that you might not have heard of before, but your client specifically asked for uh, when they reached out to you, and yes, we would have it for you. I know some of you might be thinking or asking yourself, well, I've never heard of you guys before, and that's okay. Total Stay is actually the retail side of web beds and together with our family your brands right here, whether it be Jack Travel, Sun Hotels, lots of hotels and fit rooms, we are the second largest um, hotel bed bank in the world that no one in North America has ever heard of. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we are here. In fact, our, uh, the Total Stay website alone is used in over 20,000 travel agencies in over 85 countries. Um, and with that, we only show live inventory. Nothing is on request, which gives us a very unique opportunity to give the travel advisors instant confirmations directly sent to your hotel, I mean, to your email, as well as vouchers that can be white labeled with your agency logo on it. With that, we just need a high res uh, resolution picture that you can send to me or my team, and then we smack it over to all the documentations that uh, you, you send over to your clients so your clients wouldn't even see any total state branding on it, just your logo. Also, aside from that, we offer advisor friendly terms and conditions together with very flexible payment solutions, meaning that there are two ways. Um, you can hold the booking for five days without any credit card, and then after that is a 10% deposit, which again, I will show later once I uh, switch over to the website. And we also give travel advisor rates. So if you are planning to go on a personal trip for yourself and your family, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or to my team, and we'll be more than happy to become your travel advisor in that scenario. Since we only show live inventory, um, we excel in any last minute and same day bookings that, our client, that your clients may need. Um, I personally was able to experience this when I um, got stuck in Chicago during a snowstorm back in April. Um, instead, my flight got canceled and instead of just waiting for another flight to be, to may or may not leave, I just decided to just stay in an airport hotel and spend the night and leave the next day. So what I did was I just went to the Total Stay website, logged on, um, booked my uh, own hotel, and then 20 minutes later, as soon as I got to the hotel, the room was already waiting for me. So I can definitely vouch for the fact that those things are very helpful. I know that for you and your clients, especially for last minute changes or bookings. Um, we offer a wide range of intuitive filters that which I will show more later, which makes it easy to find and book any hotels for your clients. And then switching gears a little bit, um, I know I mentioned about all the different types of hotels, but not just that. We actually, you know, we're great for pre and post cruise uh, bookings for your for you and your clients. Um, we have over 700 hotels in Barcelona over 400 hotels in Miami, over 1,300 in Istanbul, and moving over like, you know, 400 in Singapore and a few other ports of calls. So if your clients wants to be in a 
for the most part, you want your clients to be there before a day before, and maybe they want to spend a few days after the cruise ends. We are a great, great, great um, tool for that. Aside from the in, you know stuff that we have on the beach in the middle of the city and what have you. So what's new with Total Stay? Um, just a few things. I just want to run this over. We recently upgraded our security uh, settings. So if you do not have access or if you don't know your access to the website, your login information, please reach out to me because it might be a reset and you might not have gotten your uh, new credentials yet. So please uh, reach out to me or my team and we'll be more than happy to help out on that. I'm very excited about this. Our new website is coming soon. There's been a few months in the making. Um, it's actually being piloted in Europe right now. And um, hopefully we'll be launched worldwide soon. So I'll, I'll keep you guys in the loop for it. But in the meantime, you know, I'll show you guys the website, the great website that we have right now as well. If you want to learn more about our parent company, WebBeds, um, it is live. The website is live. Um, you can learn more about our family, your brands, the people that work in it, and what we do, and how big we are actually around the world. Before showing the website, I just want to um, pull this thing up. So if you haven't registered, you can go to totalstate.com. The sign up page is actually on the right hand side. And then my information is right here also. So it's jeffrey.powett at totalstate.com. So if you need any information or any help, that's what I'm here for. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. If I don't have the answer right away, I'll definitely still acknowledge that email saying, hey, looking into this, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And then with that, let's switch over to the Total State website. Um, you just have to go to totalstate.com. Once you're here, uh, if you haven't registered, the register uh, button is going to be on the right hand corner. We'll click on that real quick. Once you're in, I don't know why is it in French. Uh, that's actually funny. <laughs> So let's change that language if I can find English. Here we go. Let's try that again. Here we go. Um, it's basic information. It's going to ask for your company name, company name, um, your IATA, your CLIA, your R, your TRUE, any information that would um, tie you to the travel industry. And then if you want a nickname for your travel agency, you can just put it here in the short name. For the most part, everyone puts their um, Clea, Ayata, um, or ARC. And then you don't have to worry about the VAT, but address, phone number, basic information. Um, and then if you want to add multiple um, agents or advisors here, you can put it right here and add another user down below. So now let's just say that you were able to get your login information We'll put it now, there's three steps. So the agency ID, like I said, is usually um, your IATA or your ARC, your CLIA or your TRUE. Um, in my case, I have two accounts for my net and my gross account. Once that is done, you enter the homepage out here. This is what the homepage looks like. Very sleek, very simple, straight to the point. We um, Try to make it as simple as possible. So now right here, you'll be able to do a search for your for any particular destination. Um, so let's just say that we want to go to London. Now it's a smart search, meaning that it will auto populate and put in the first and most popular LOND around the world. So in this case, it's going to be London, England. So we click on that. Now we just have to put in the dates. Um, I usually, you click on the calendar, I like it better. So let's just put in like September 12th and let's do four nights. Now for the rooms, you can get up to four rooms at any given time. And you can also put it up to four adults at any given time. Now, if you're looking to see property listings but not availability, you can click on this box right here 
and it will show all the properties that we have in that particular city or destination without having to know about their availability or not. Um, in this scenario, let's just say that we want to do a search without any um, property listing. We just want to see what's available. Now, once it searches, it will show all the uh, available properties and, every, and I, uh, as I said, everything is live. So what you see here means uh, it's available. You don't have to worry about it. Even if the property is actually sold out, if we have availability in our system, that means that we have our own uh, allotment that, we, uh, that the hotel cannot touch. So please be rest assured that it's, everything's going to be there, especially for uh, very, very particular um, events or in a particular city that you know your clients might want to go to. Now right here, you'll notice that we have 618 hotels available for um, London from those dates, the 12th of September to the 16th of September for four nights. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to um, see all the filters that we have, the location, the star rating. You can even type in the hotel name underneath. Let me just scroll that down. So underneath here, if we type in Mayfair, any hotels that that has a Mayfair on it will show up out here. So now we have seven hotels, or I guess I overshot it. Um, aha, here we go. Uh-oh. But in, anyways, that's the case. So let's remove that. Now let's just say that we want to have your clients are looking for a five-star property in London, but London is big, so that you, you have different areas, such as New York or LA. So let's just say that we want to be in the Mayfair area in front of Hyde Park, um, close to multiple um, points of interest for your clients. So now we switch over to 15 hotels. Makes it easier to search. Um, now what we have to do, there's two ways to look for hotels. One is via the list view right here. And then the other one is the map view. I love, 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 love this uh, feature right here because it's connected to Google Maps, meaning that you'll see where you are in the, you are in the city. Um, so if we can zoom in, you'll notice where the hotels are within its location. And then if you click on one of them, it will give you an in-depth uh, view as well as description of that hotel, as well as pictures out here, location, how many rooms, points of interest where they are clo um, close to the hotel, Buckingham Palace, Hyde Park, Piccadilly Circus, and a few other things. And then all the way down below, if you scroll down, you'll be actually able to send this email directly to your clients or to yourself to personalize it before sending it over to your clients. What you just have to do is type it in saying that I'm, you know, I'm your travel advisor and say I'm sending this over to a travel advisor, I mean to a client. And then down below, you can type in any message and then you send that over to your client and it will come from the email address that's associated with that login information. Um, it will not come in looking like a spam. It actually will come in looking like it's coming in from jeffrey.powerandtotalstay.com because that's a email associated with this account. Now, your clients will not be able to book here. They still actually have to reach back to you and get back to you and say, hey, Jeff, I know that we were looking at the, um, the Hilton in London and yes, I love that property, let's book it. That's the only way um, that they'll be able to book it. We are, like I said, we are not public facing and we don't wanna be, these are your clients um, and you are our clients. Going back up, show you guys this little, you know, this little guy right here, you can actually get it, drag it and drop him off in a particular destination. And this will show you where the hotel might be or what the surrounding areas will look like for that hotel. Again, this is a great tool to show your clients, especially for destinations that 
they haven't been to or you haven't been to, it gives you an idea of what the place looks like, where they are considered in terms of um, the city or the destination. Now going back to the list view, once the hotel shows up again, aha, here we go. Now you'll notice that if you look at the inventory, you'll see that we always show if it's a non-refundable booking already or not. So you will know from the get-go if it's a refundable rate or a non-refundable rate, if it's, there's a discount and what have you. Now, you also see that we only show three room categories at any given time. This just makes it easier and cleaner, so you don't have to be bombarded with so many room inventories um, with that particular property. But if you do need to see more, you'll see it right here. Let me scroll up a little bit. So you'll notice right here that there's a more button, so you can just click on it. Now it will give you all the room inventory that's available for that um, hotel. It goes from the classic room for the Sheridan, it goes from the classic room one queen non-refundable, all the way out to, let's see what kind of, to the Parkview Suite Club Lounge Access one bedroom for $5,181 for four nights. Not bad, right? And then now let's just, it's a quick three-step process from here on out. Once you find the room that you need, that you want, that your clients would want, you just have to click on book. So in this case, let's do a club room with club lounge access with a king bed. Once you click on book, it gives you, it gets you to this page where again, it gives you the name of the property, the star rating, the dates, so 12 of September for four nights, what kind of room category it is. And then the cancellation policy are right here. So you'll notice that the cancellation for this one is gonna be three days prior to departure um, or to arrival and off to the hotel. And then any, if you cancel beforehand, the money just goes straight back into your client's credit cards and no questions um, asked. And then out here, you'll notice this blinking red light right here. If there's a special cancellation or uh, conditions, or um, if it's a non-refundable booking, you will see it right here or underneath below. In this case, you will notice that it will tell you that you can hold this booking without payment for five days. So we have until, it's actually 120 hours. So it's 218 in New York right now. And uh, we have until 218 um, on July 23rd before this, uh, booking gets canceled. And then after that, you can just have to put in a 10% deposit and the balance is due on the 7th of September or five days prior to your client's uh, departure. I don't know if you wanna tell that to your clients, but at least it gives you an, an option for it. Down here, you can put in any request that your clients may need, whether it be a late check-in or check-out. This is really important for your clients who are coming in from the United States and getting to Europe early in the morning. If you put it in there, at least it gives you, um, it lets the hotel know that if it's a room is available, you, your clients can be um, there in the hotel and check-in early. They may want to like, take a quick nap or at least uh, wash off before heading out to anything that they're going to be doing in the city. And then with that, we just have to type in guest details. So let's just say that I will be going. And then now you will see who my celebrity crush is. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and then down below, we do also offer uh, transfers. I don't know why that is, sorry about that. Um, you'll notice uh, right here, for cities that have multiple airports, it will um, go to the main airport in that particular location. In this case, this would be London Heathrow Airport. You have the option of either getting a no transfer, a shuttle bus, a private or a deluxe uh, private car. 
it will automatically uh, put in no transfers, but you can definitely change that over. And then aside from that, you can actually do a transfer, a standalone transfer in our website. So you don't need a hotel component for it. And later I will show that to you also. So now once we decide that we don't need any transfers, we just click continue. Again, it gives us the information of the hotel. Again, the blinking red light right here, and then how long you can hold this booking as well as a 10% deposit. Now to hold that button, to hold that booking, you just have to click on the hold button option right here. Now, I used to be a travel um, advisor as well. So I'm sure you have clients who have been, oh, I need to talk to the husband. I need to talk to the wife. This is a great, great feature to hold that room and to hold that rate. Um, and then below that, if you just want to pay the deposit, you just do that right here. Notice that the, the payment is going to be for 22 or 23.21. But if we click on deposit, it resets the page, and then now we just have to pay the deposit, which is 232 and 10 cents. Now, before doing all of that, you just have to type in a reference. It's a men it's a free form mandatory field, meaning that you can put anything in here as long as there's something there. Um, it could be your um, internal reference number, or it could be just some kind of Smith London Hotel. Once that is done, click on terms and continue to accept the terms of conditions. Now, if you want to add another component or a transfer, you can do so by doing it here or here. Say for multiple uh, multi cities in Europe, they maybe want to go to London from London to Paris or London to uh, Rome. You can definitely add that hotel. Once if you click on that and then add component, it brings you back to the hotel page that we were at earlier. Same thing with transfers. In this scenario, let's just say that we want to hold this option. By the way, this is a live demo. So all the prices and all the hotels that you saw earlier are um, current prices. So when that loads up here, so you'll notice that this is your booking reference right here. And that's the booking detail that you want to keep. And then if you scroll down, you have different booking options such as deposit, cancel, display confirmation and invoice and pay balance. The display confirmation and invoice is a PDF. So you can click on it, click continue, and then it will show a PDF of the booking. If you want to white label it, the, um, the logo, your agency, sorry, your agency logo will be right here, as well as all the information. And then here you will have all the um, confirmation, uh, confirmation of gross price and how much your commission would be in this um, case. Once you've done a deposit, there's going to be another button right here that will show a hotel voucher, a display voucher which becomes also a PDF and you can send that to your clients or to yourself first to print out and then give over to your client. Now let's just say that we held a booking and then your clients are coming back to you like hey Jeff I know we want to um, we decided we want to go to London let's do the deposit. To do so you just have to click on booking search right here. I like to leave this blank. So when um, I can just click on search, and then from here, it will give you all the different um, booking references um, that we did. And you just have to put in, click on the booking reference of that particular um, booking. And then now we're back into the page that we were earlier with my wishful thinking of Jennifer Lawrence going with me to London. <laughs> Um, and then from here, you can either pay the deposit, pay the balance, and different options that you want to do. Two more things before um, we start doing the question and answer. One would be the transfers. So you just have to click on services right here.
you have the different option of doing it from the airport to the port to the station or train station and the hotel. So any of those combination is actually acceptable in our um, website. So let's just say that we want to come from LHR, it auto populates and then we want to go to the Sheridan. So any Sheridan hotel will automatically populate. So let's just say that we want to be in the one in Mayfair. And then you just type in the flight time, the date, and how many people are going or arriving. You click on search, the price will be right here. Goes back to the same booking uh, processes that we were at earlier. Last but not least is the groups. Groups is considered 19 people and above in our system. So regardless of how many um, rooms you may need, as long as it's more than 19 people, it's considered a group. To do so, we just have to fill out this RFP, um, where how many rooms you need for singles, doubles, twins, triples. Click Submit. It goes to our team in Edinburgh, um, Scotland, and they will get back to you. Um, they say 24 hours, but I would say between 24 to 36 hours, just because of the time difference. Um, so please be aware of that. Also, when they do come back to you, they will come back to you with net pricing. So please, please, please make sure that you actually mark it up. It is a hard conversation to have with a travel advisor asking me for a commission that they say that hasn't arrived for a group booking when in reality there is none, you know, when they um, don't put a markup on it. So please, I beg you, it's a hard conversation to have and make sure that you don't want to work for free for your clients, especially for a group booking, you know. Um, and then with that, that's pretty much the whole entire total state platform. Um, I'm switching over to the PowerPoint slide again because I want to put out my contact information if you, um, again for you guys. If you need anything from me, this is what I'm here for um, and I'll be more than happy to help. And with that, I just want to thank every single one of you again for um, taking the time out of your day to learn more about the Total State product and um, let us open the world for our clients, you know, and that's what we're here for. And with that, I want to pass it back to Doug and see if there are any questions. Um... Perfect. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for the presentation. Um, on my part, we are always happy to help uh, promote travel suppliers that are focused on the travel agency distribution system. So thank you to WebBets for that. Um, we do have some questions here for you. Let me jump right into them. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few here, so bear with me. Oh, perfect. Um, Yay. The first I like question. I know. It's good. Uh, the first question is, do you have any all-inclusive properties under contract? Yes, we do. Okay. So, um, the all inclusives, yes, we have any. Um, your same thing aside from your hotel, we do have the resorts, the all inclusive resorts in Mexico, in the Caribbean, and any other places that may have them. Perfect. Um, next question is What is the agency ID? It's basically your IATA or your CLIA, or it might be a combination of like travel agency A. So, some um, agencies that have multiple. Uh, locations under one IATA. So we try to put it in for like travel agency in New York or travel agency Philadelphia. It just makes it easier for you to distinguish uh, which agencies are actually booking under what umbrella. It makes it also easier for if you're connected to a host agency to distinguish each booking from each other. Great. Okay, we have a couple questions here regarding commission. I think I'll combine them into one. The first question was, uh, the pricing that you were showing for the London properties, were those um, tax inclusive? And also, did they include commission? And what is your commission policy? Perfect. Great question. Um, yes, the pricing prices that you saw earlier when I was showing uh, demoing the London hotels, that is actually the final price, which includes all the prepayable taxes. Now, the only taxes that are not, or only fees that we cannot um, put into that price would be any of the resort fees that um, the hotel charge once your clients get on property, as well as any city or um, tourist tax that they may charge. So it could be six euros per person um, in Rome, or it could be the uh, resort fees that they charge up in um, Las Vegas. So those things we cannot, um, uh, get so they, your clients would have, just have to pay them directly at 
the property. In terms of commission, commission starts at 12% on the gross, meaning that all the prepayable taxes that you saw over there is commissionable. Um, along, you know, that's a standard rate. Anywhere that you see um, any hotels that you book through the Total State website, it's going to be a standard rate of starting at 12%, depending on your partnership with, you know, with a host agency or with a consortia. Um, so if you see if it's a thousand dollars final price inclusive of all the prepayable taxes, your commission is already going to be 120 bucks off of that. And they get paid um, a month after your client departs via ACH wire transfer, unless um, you want to get it as a hard physical check. Great. Um, another question regarding commissions. Is that same commission level paid on the transfers? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, somebody has a question about uh, support for travel advisors. Do you have a help desk or a support system somewhere they can call if they have difficulties with a booking? Yes, definitely we do. Um, we have an 800 number and I apologize for not having it here. Um, my marketing team forgot to put it in. Um, regardless, but we do have a 800 number and I'll send that over to a follow-up email. Um, it, they're there for you 24 seven and they're actually versed in 14 different languages. Meaning that if you wanna practice your French or your Spanish, <laughs> definitely reach out to them and speak to them in Spanish. Um, but what I usually tell my uh, travel advisor clients is use them for your clients also for as give that number to your clients if they get to a particular destination that they do not understand uh, like you know when they get to the hotel at night and the person at the front desk do not really speak as good of an english during off the day shift call that 800 number use our support team as a translator to mitigate all the uh, all the stuff that you might need within that within the hotel perfect um Somebody was asking here if you could put the uh, slide back up that has your contact information. Yes, definitely. That would be possible. Here we go. Thank you for that. Um, what else do we have here? If you, oh, somebody's asking if all the pricing that we saw was in US dollars. Um, yes. Is. Okay. If you just if you are in um, U.S., yes, the prices are going to be in U.S. dollars. If you are in Canada, it's going to be Canadian dollars. So it could actually be put into um, whatever currency that you want. Um, so if you are if you just happen to have an office, say in Paris, we can actually put it in um, in euros as well. So it's really up to you. Uh, but for the most part, if you just happen to be in the U.S., um, it's going to be in U.S. dollars, local currency. Great. Um, question regarding resort fees. We understand that they're not included in your pricing, but is there a notation on the, the final booking of what the resort fees might be? Um, yes. For once, um, once there's a payment on a booking, all the way in the bottom for the hotel vouchers, it will actually tell you how much um, the uh, resort fees as well as the um, tourist fee that um, that hotel or that um, city might be charging. So I know that's a little bit, um, you know, it creates it changes in each particular star rating in uh, Rome or different um, cities in Europe as well as in Vegas. But it will actually have that in the vouchers once um, your the payment has been applied to a booking. Great. Um, couple more questions regarding the call center slash help desk. Um, they're asking if it's located in the U.S. or where the help desk is located. Another great question. Our help desk is actually around the world. So we're going to have them in Romania. We actually have them in Cairo, Dubai, as well as the Philippines. So it's a trunk line. Um, so whoever is the next available person, regardless of where they are, Actually, also, I'm sorry, we also have one in London. So if regardless of where you are, in, wherever they are in the world, the next person that's available will pick it up. So one call you might get in Romania, and then the next one might be in the Philippines, and the next one might be in London. So it varies. I'm sure that makes sense. Great. Um, somebody's asking if they're able to pay a net price if the client pays them by cash or check. 
Um, unfortunately not. Um, it's something that we can actually talk about more if you're interested in a net um, account rather than having a gross account where we pay you commission. Um, you can switch it over to a net account where it's either we just use your, you know, you charge your client's credit card via using your own merchant account and then you use um, an agency credit card or Wix or Wex account to pay um, the total stay booking. So it's really up to you, but it's unfortunately we cannot take net um, and just remove the commission. Like it has to be to be fixed as an account like that. Okay. Um, somebody's asking if you do offer any air inclusive packages or is strictly hotels? We're strictly just hotels and uh, transfers. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any hotel uh, contracts or partnerships, nor um, excursions or activities. Okay, great. Um, one last question here. After the 10% deposit is made, can the clients get a full refund if they cancel the reservation? As long as they are within the cancellation um, dates, yes. It, everything just goes back to the credit card on file. Um, no questions asked. Good. And I think that is everything, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder that we are recording this webinar. So if you want to uh, go back and look at it to refresh any of the information, you can find that recording starting next week on our website, which is jacksfax.com underneath the travel agent training menu. And I think if there are no other questions, that is going to wrap it up. Jeff, again, thank you for a great presentation. No, thank you. And uh, thank you everyone again. You know, um, it's been a pleasure um, being with you guys this afternoon. And I look forward to be working with everyone. Great. Thank you, Jeff. And please watch for invitations for future training events from Jack's Facts. And I hope everybody has a great afternoon. Thank you.